Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. I am here with the fabulous Lauren Callan, the International Creative Director for Evo. She's on a tour of the US and actually around the world teaching people the latest, uh, about this latest launch from Evo. Why is it so exciting? Well, I think with Evo, when we create new products to bring to the industry, we want to create ways for hairdressers to build new services and really expand their business. So Stainer was a direct dye system, which is what we're showing you today. Really fun, bright colors. They've been out for a while. There's heaps of amazing brands that do great versions of this, but what we wanted to do and what makes this really special is we've created a customized retail system for Stainer that also works with Fabuloso Pro, which is another color maintenance system of ours. So that hairdressers can maintain their clients' hair in between services with a retail stream that they can only buy from their colorists. Love it. Um, so what you have done is you've conditioned, you've um, clarified your model's hair, and is it conditioned? Is it no? So we've gone through Alex's hair, and we've used our normal person's conditioner, which is our daily shampoo. It's a really effective clarifying shampoo that busts through buildup, just to give us a really nice even canvas. I've then used Day of Grace, which is our pre-style primer, as a porosity balancer and to detangle the hair. So now we're going to go through a stainer. It's our direct dye system. They're embedded in really beautiful treatment. It gives lots of shine, frizz control. So this is a one-step process. We're going to do a really beautiful pastel pink and then process it for 20 minutes, rinse it out, blow dry it, and that's it. Super easy and efficient. And then we'll be making her a customized retail to take home. All right, so I'm going to let you get started. And I just love her hair. It's a beautiful color to start with. And I love the fact that you said it's just going to be a hint of tone. Yes, exactly. So it's not going to change her level. She's got really beautiful multi-dimension through here. So we're going to make a really gorgeous, cool pastel pink, which will neutralize some of the warmth, but it's not going to mask any of her existing canvas. So she'll get a really beautiful dimensional finish. Perfect. Go ahead. Thank Take you. it away. Okay. So first we are going to mix up our product. So I am using lavender and fuchsia to make this really beautiful, cool pink. So in our shakers here, I've got 100 grams of our repair conditioner base, which is really beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in with five grams of fuchsia, six point six we're going with. And then I'm just going to do a couple of grams of lavender. Great. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. So the lavender in there is going to create a really beautiful, soft, neutralizing effect on the warmth in her hair. Then all you do is shake it up like a cocktail. If you've been a bartender in the past, you can flip it. Mix this together really, really beautifully. And then so we're going to go through and we're going to apply this to Alex's hair. The trick about applying this is to not overwork it into the hair. So it's like applying a really beautiful treatment. So I have sectioned Alex's hair through the center part, just where her hair naturally falls, and then just behind the ear. But how I actually really like to apply these global toners is working to the shape of the skull to create that beautiful swing and movement. So I'm just taking slightly curved sections. So it just follows the shape of the head, and I kind of prefer this then taking really sharp horizontal sections because I feel like when the color comes out, and especially if you're doing any kind of multiple colors and toners in the hair, it makes it easier to blend and it really creates a beautiful watercolor finish in the hair shaft. So you can see we've got this really gorgeous kind of cool pink. Let me grab that out of the way. Now the key with applying Staino because it's a semi-permanent, this dye works on a cationic delivery system. So when the hair is damaged, it emits negative ions. These are positively charged pigments and conditioners. So you don't need to overwork it in the hair. The color itself actually bonds to the cuticle and just inside the cuticle in the first three minutes. 
So all, we do, all you need to do, you don't need to work too hard and really work it into the hair. You just need to saturate the hair shaft nice and evenly. You want the color to look on the hair the same way the color looks in the bowl. So you are really saturating the uh, pre-lifted hair. Is it doing anything to the natural hair? It will give a really, because this is a direct dye, it does sit on the outside of the cuticle. So it's going to give a really nice natural enhancement to a natural hair. But our direct dyes are so strong. If you put the straight color on, they last up to 50 washes. They give really beautiful shine and condition. So the brighter tones, this is a little bit of pigment. This is nine grams of pigment in 100 grams of conditioner. So you're gonna get that really gorgeous, soft pastel pink on the hair. We want a really beautiful, soft, wearable tone for Alex. If I put direct dye, if I put the straight fuchsia or lavender on her hair, it will color her natural hair, but it's not a permanent color. It's not going to affect any of the molecular structure color-wise. That's already in her hair. And although these colors are really long lasting, they do fade off completely and true to tone. If she had very damaged hair, yes. would you not do this? Would it take differently? The reason that we chose to work with a cationic delivery system and really embed the pigment in a beautiful nourishing treatment base was so that it works on damaged hair. I think a lot of these colors are usually on light, done on lighter levels and you can get differences in porosity. So with this, that cationic system, it really blends and treats the hair while it's coloring it. So it works really nicely on damaged hair. You won't get really big grabs in patchiness. It doesn't grab on differences in porosity because the treatment that it's embedded in is actually designed to balance and repair the hair shaft so that the pigment has an even canvas to lay into. If you find that you're working on very, very sensitized colored hair, you can condition if you want beforehand. If you find you've got very, very knotty hair, you can, I've applied Day of Grace to Alex's hair. You can see she's got a little bit of damage through the ends with how the hair is kind of catching on the cuticle. So using a little bit of Day of Grace means that I'm not overloading her hair with conditioner. It's just allowed me to detangle it so that I can get the product on and then let her hair really suck up and get the most out of this treatment. What if she came in with an existing fashion color? What if she came in with like green hair? If she came in with green hair, I mean that's kind of, or an existing fashion color, that's really part of your color consultation process. You look at the canvas that you're working on, go to your end result, and then I work backwards to see what work really has to be done to get it to a neutral base. There are a lot of great direct dye removers on the market at the moment, really gentle ways of removing old saturated color. But because this is a true semi-permanent direct dye, your results are always going to be your existing canvas plus your formula equals your result. So I would clean the hair out to a base that is going to work with the tone that I'm formulating. So with Alice's hair, she's got a lot of warmth in her hair. So we want a really beautiful soft pastel, but I put the lavender in to counteract that a little bit. What will happen when this comes out with her canvas plus the formula, you're going to get a really nice pink, but it's going to have a nice like richness to it. Areas that, that it's really, really warm, you might find it's a more of a rose gold tone, but the lavender is in there to help counteract against that warmth as well. Okay, so we saw that you did a little mix and match with this color here. How many colors are there in the line? So we have 10 shades in our range, which you can see behind me. They're really, really fun. You've got fuchsia, ruby, flame, neon yellow, which is really exciting, that glows in the dark. Lime, jade, cobalt, a really beautiful tone in ultramarine, which is a deep, deep blue, it's gorgeous. Lavender, plum, and then you also have a clear, which really is your diluter. So you can dilute this down with the Fabuloso Pro Repair Conditioner, but clear is really effective for diluting your tones when you want to pastelize these shades out. So you've been doing this in Australia. What have been the most popular colors? You know, I think the really exciting thing about it and the reason why we decided to bring out these shades in particular is that we didn't want to overload stylists being like with a massive shade range so they felt like you can only use that tone. What we really wanted to do was create really distinctive clear shades that opens up the way a colorist can work creatively to create the tones that they want. We're artists, so you 10 shades and a clear mean you have an absolutely unlimited palette to create what you want. 
This system is also designed to work in with Fabuloso Pro, which is our semi-permanent color maintenance system that is not a direct dye. It works in with, it makes the color wheel. So you get red, blue, green, violet, orange, and, oh, sorry, yellow. Then you go in with chocolate. You've got chocolate, which is a warm level five. Then you also have a black in Fab Pro, and that's got two customized retail conditioners to it, volume and repair so that you can really cater for every single color that walks into your salon. So that system is designed to last less and it's designed to keep your client's hair fresh no matter their tone, all their wearable tones, from the minute they walk in to the minute they walk out and then they're back for the next appointment. So it helps to stop color fade completely. Staino is now the really bright, vivid, direct eye partner to that system. So as a colorist, you have a system of true semi-permanence that's designed to add new revenue streams to your business. But the biggest and most important part of this and why we made these systems are these conditioner bases. So as soon as Alex's hair is done, I can take this formula, put this in a bottle for her, shake it up, and she has a treatment that will maintain her hair from the minute she leaves me until the minute she comes back. And why this is so special and where in salon retail is going is customization. I'm the only person she can buy this from. It's made for her by her colorist to maintain all the services that she's investing in with me. I think that's a really exciting thing for colorists around the world. So how long would that last? How many shampoos would that conditioner buy? As the colorist, you control the strength of what's in that and also how often she needs to use it. So if you have someone that's a really bright red who needs to use it more often, then you, she could use that as her conditioner. The bottles themselves are pre-filled, but there's room in here for anywhere from 20 to 80 grams of pigment. So as the colorist, you can make this as strong or as pastel as your client needs. For Alex, I might make her use this once a week. Like this is your once a week treatment just to maintain the tone. If she wants to let it completely fade out, it will completely fade out of the hair. And then, but if she wants something super bright, I can really make this formula nice and strong and she can use it as often as she needs. So the level of individualization for a stylist and their clients is unlimited, which is great. All right, I'm gonna make a little bit more product. All right, good, we get to watch you. Yeah. So you always use the scale. Um, I am a bit more, I'm an editorial stylist first and foremost, I'm, and I do cut and colour as well, but as an artist, because I've been using this for a while, I like to get really creative with it. So I like to mix by hand and have a lot of fun, but in an environment where you need to maybe be able to maintain your client's hair, it's really important that you have, you track your formula so that you can actually maintain it. So you're doing the same? So I'm going to do the same. So you can see how bright Fuchsia is as well. So all of our, there we go, all of our tones are really, really rich and really vivid. And then you could make this super bright if you wanted to. Lavender in particular is really impressive. Really impressive color because you can see as a lavender, I think sometimes people get a little nervous that they are going to, it's just going to neutralize warmth and not actually deposit a lavender pigment. But this lavender is really, really strong. So it will go over anything that's like even on a nine and an eight. It's super effective at actually toning, but really depositing that lavender shade. All right, so I'm gonna ask you a really tough question. What if you decided you wanted to have lavender, lavender from the rounds down yep. and a different shade, like a yellow or a totally different shade yep. above? How do you sell the retail product for her and tell her to do the at-home service? That's a great question. So when you're formulating the at-home maintenance, depending on how much is actually, how much technical, how many different tones are in your work. With Fabuloso Pro, you always formulate for the lightest level of hair. So if I was making, you were Tony Maggie, I would formulate for your lightest blonde to keep that tone there. It was still deposit on every level, but your, form, your result is always going to be your formula plus your existing canvas is your result. If you're working with a fashion shade that is really bright, you've got multiple tones in there, then that's really up to how you structure the technique. 
Those kind of, if they're very complicated on tones, she could, if she was jade on the top and let's say plum underneath, then I would mix her two conditioner bases. Because if she's going to invest in a technique like that, you still can invest in the at-home maintenance. It's super important. She, our clients live their lives without us. So I would make her two. If I was doing something that was really kind of rainbow and has colors everywhere, those colors are not easily maintained. So that would be more of a system that I would set up in the consultation process with my client that she's gonna to have to come and see me more often to redo that look as opposed to her being able to maintain something that's that intricate at home. So it's just about being honest and realistic with your client. But the fact that you have an option like this to actually be able to go in, like this is exactly what you do because otherwise, if your client's hair starts to fade when they have these bright unicorn shades, they are gonna go and find a solution somewhere else. So I, we would rather they buy a beautiful product from their colorist. So you can see as well, this is a non-progressive color. So while we've been talking, I'm not worried about this overtoning or oversaturating Alex's hair. It's tone on tone, it's never gonna go any darker or deeper than the color that you've mixed because it is a true semi-permanent. No ammonia, no peroxide. Our entire line across the Evo families are sulfate, paraben, DEA, TEA, and propylene glycol free. So I can chat to you and leave this tone to sit on. If her hair is really damaged, this is a 20 to 30 minute processing time. 20 minutes for a pastel, 30 minutes for a super bright vivid. But if I spread apart the ends of her hair here, you can see that the tone of her hair is exactly the same as the shade that I mixed. And you get that really beautiful difference in the level. So she's gonna have a gorgeous multi-dimensional color but it's not gonna grab on differences in porosity. It'll balance it really beautifully, but it's not gonna mask her highlights either. Oh, you know what else you could do? If you wanted to be a little more translucent at the ends, go rinse the ends out earlier. Totally. Do you know what you actually can do with the way that this cationic pigment works? So, and this, is, this helps stop you from having to make two formulas. So a lot of the time, if someone wants a little more vibrancy at the roots, but softer at the ends, because you know everyone loves that beautiful watercolor melt, instead of mixing two formulas, as I said at the start, this product works on a cationic delivery system. So that pigment actually takes into the hair shaft in the first three minutes. So if you overwork the hair too much in the first three minutes, the way we're used to like really working in demi-permanence, what will happen is that you're actually stopping that process from happening. So your pigment won't get as good an uptake. However, to your point, Maggie, if you wanted to actually make, once you're comfortable with the application, you wanna make that a creative technique, what I can actually do if I want to fade her ends out and make them softer is put my product on and then actually activate it and fade it in from where I want it to go. So this will actually pastelize the pigment anyway instead of having to have two formulas. So I can keep it nice and true to tone here and then activate the conditioner and interrupt that process and you can see already you get a much softer result. Wow. So it's super, it's, it's about being easy and efficient, time efficient on the floor so that your clients get the results they want in an efficient manner because they're all very time poor. You don't want to sit here for 45 minutes with two different formulas, you absolutely can, but when you're wanting to do a really beautiful soft pasta like this, something that's an easy little hair hack makes this look really versatile because this system and the way that we work with direct dyes and pastels in particular, it's a really great way to get your clients excited about trying new things and not being scared of trying a rose gold because they know, you know it will come out. You can do this inside of 20 minutes. You can add it on as a service. So and you could even balayage with this. Can yeah, you, absolutely. What would you if you did foils? You, could, you would get beautiful foils with this. And it's, you could do, absolutely do foils. What will happen is because it's a non-progressive color, you could do your foils and let them sit in there without being worried they're gonna to go too dark or go too bright. You have control as a colorist over exactly what your shade looks like. You know why I think you're one of the best educators ever? You are so not distracted by the construction going on. <laughs> that, that we're in New York City and we are Midtown. City. And you know what? We're going to just take a little second and <laughs> show us on. We've got construction out here. We've got sirens. There's a guy hammering. Yep, that's the beauty of New York. But you are just powering through it. You are such a pro. I mean, we're hairdressers. We're used to working in crazy, busy salon environments. I've never worked in a quiet salon in my life so it's kind of just like pretending there's a really chatty client next to me no you're really a, you're really a trooper thank you so um 
are, what's the fashion trend moving forward for fall and winter um, of 2019? Are these, in, in Australia, are we talking about going more translucent? Are we going brighter? How about shadow roots? Fill us in. I think that the biggest, one of the biggest trends worldwide for the next kind of three to five years and where the world is going, the f first biggest trend is texture and really bringing out people's natural curl, their natural tone, their movement, making their hair look like the best version of what it naturally wants to be, not making it look too forced or manufactured. So when it comes to fashion colors, it's really important that the health and quality of the hair is paramount. It's not good enough to just have a fashion color. Consumers are becoming so and so much more aware. They're willing to experiment and try color. They're no longer willing to sacrifice the quality of their hair just for a fashion result. So the biggest trend is health. You see where the whole world is moving towards health and wellness, self-care. They're all massive global trends and that has to translate into how we do hair and how we look after our clients' hair as well. So that's from a tonal point of view. In Northern Hemisphere, you guys are moving into fall. So all the girls who've trashed their hair at the beach over summer are going to be coming in for treatments. Treatments, back bar treatments, things that they can deepen down their hair. Non-permanent, no commitment color is a really great way, especially for your blondes, to try going a little deeper for fall. Fall, not beautiful pinks that will leave their hair really shiny. All of your fall colors, apricot glosses and rose gold and peaches. Even China, the girls trying to go down and doing beautiful, softer, like brunette and coat, you know, cafe latte washes on their hair. Shadow roots are always a massive thing. And this is, you know, all the color trends that we see across the world. It's about longevity and time and how your client's hair is going to grow out and age. It's a really important thing for me as a hairdresser. I always think about what her hair is going to look like, her cut's going to look like in four to six weeks. Because your clients, especially in the age of social media, are our biggest advertisement. It's nothing worse than seeing your client out two weeks after you've done her hair and she's with her friends. She's like, that's my hairdresser. And you're like, shh, because her hair doesn't look great. So this is about really setting your client up so that they have beautiful hair for as long as possible. So beautiful washes, things that will, the reason that I love these products and Fabuloso Pro as well, is that my clients can try a pumpkin spice latte toner in their hair. Or if my client is a golden brown and she's always wanted to try Auburn, she can try that and I know I'm not permanently affecting her hair. If she then wants, to, if she loves it and she wants to step to a permanent service, I've got great products that I can do that for her. But if she just wants to experiment and play around, versatility in services, new things that your clients can try is the biggest trend. But the health and the quality of the hair fiber is going to become more and more important than ever. Treating the hair in salon, I actually had a really great conversation with Lauren Cairns, who is the owner of Fox and Jane in New York City. She came out to Australia and she was on an education tour and I just think she's phenomenal in how she looks after her team and builds culture. But what she actually said to me, which I think is something that everyone should think about, the way that they talk to their clients during a color consultation process was so interesting to me because they plan their client's color with them during a consultation over six to 10 color appointments so that they have a journey map together. And then she talks to them about at-home maintenance in a way that she says, as your hairdresser, as a professional, it's really important that if you wanna get from a brown to a blonde, the quality that your hair comes in every appointment is more important to me than the color that I actually do. Because if your hair is not getting better and better quality wise from color to color, I can't guarantee that we're gonna get you to where you wanna go. And I thought that that was such a great way to speak to and educate clients on that at home maintenance because it's so important. And that's why one of the reasons that we created Stano and created these color conditioners and customized retail. Uh, I saw a really interesting fact a little while ago from a business report. If you add up the global average of how long clients spend in your chair over the course of a year, it's just under 24 hours. 24 hours a year, they're with us paying for our attention. I think what separates the really, really good hairdressers from the okay hairdressers is how well your client's hair is maintained when they're not with you paying for your attention. And that stuff speaks so much volume and holds so much value for clients. It's not about selling retail, it's about setting them up because they live their lives without us. We've all had that experience where a client gets to the end of the appointment, they love their colour, they love their hair, and they say to us, 
oh my god, I love you, I wish you would move in with me. And you're like, I like you too, but I don't want to live with you. So being able to really set them up at home so that they feel that amazing all the time is why at Evo we, are work, we constantly work on these kind of offerings. So that as a stylist, you have complete creative control about what you're offering to your clients and keeping yourself invigorated and excited as well. How would you charge for this? Is this like considered a single process? And then what do you charge for the take home product? So the take home retails for $39.95. As far as the toner goes, I would use this. It really depends on what the salon's charging, but I would charge this around the same price as you would charge for a gloss. Because with Staino, it lasts up to 50 washes, depending on how much pigment is in your formula. So this kind of pastel is going to last her about as long as a demi pastel will, but the difference is there's no permanent molecular residue left in her hair because it's not an oxidative color with the developer. But when you get to something like a Fabuloso Pro, which lasts less because they're true semi-permanents, they're designed just to maintain hair from the minute they walk in to the minute they come out, I would charge less than a gloss because they're designed to last anywhere from 6 to 16 washes. So it's a, this is more of a true direct dye. So it really depends. The idea of this, these systems and how they integrate together is that a, you can individualize this into who you are as a business, who you are as a team, what you like to offer your clients. I have people that charge different prices for that retail all over the world. Um, a really cool thing that I've seen a few salons do is actually integrate it into their colour service. And it's every second colour for a client, it's integrated into their service as a non-negotiable because it's really important for that, that, that stylist that that client looks amazing all the time. Um, but the markup on these customised retails is over 150%. So as a salon owner, you have a lot of room to really make this a successful part of your in-salon services and your retail revenue stream, which I think is really fun. Because I imagine you could also use this as a uh, correction. A correct Absolutely, it's great. So Fabuloso Pro, which is the color wheel in semi-permanent pigments, is the best thing for color filling I've ever used. It is so fun. And it allows you to fill your client's hair up and also treat it without without putting an oxidative color process in it at the start. So you fill up the hair with pigment, you're gonna hydrate and repair it, you have a really even canvas, and then you can put your color, your permanent or semi-permanent processes over the top for color correction. Very effective, that at-home maintenance as well for post-color correction when you're using Fab Pro, especially when you fill someone's hair down, you do a drastic drop in time, in level. You don't want them to go home and have all that pigment fall out and they end up with really flat colours. So something like this, you can put in a little bit of green, a little, a little bit of yellow or chocolate to actually fill their hair up in between those services. Make their colour corrections get better and better each time they use it. I'm going to make the last little bit of formula for the other side and then we're going to process this, blow it out. Do, I'm going to do a really beautiful flat S wave with the iron and then we should be pretty much done. So we're on our last section, do you have any more questions for me, Maggie, about application or anything else? Well, I do. Why did you stop to mix it up three different times rather than making enough in the beginning? That is a great question. I think for me as a colorist, and I'm sure there'll be heaps of colorists that can attest to this, I was raised not to waste products. So I was always, su I'm super precise when I work with semi and permanent. So it's just a natural habit from that. I would rather mix up like the back and then the front if I have to mix the same formula a couple of times. But I find when it comes to this kind of fashion work, it also gives me the ability that if I want to make it a little stronger at the front, a little lighter at the front, as I go, I can kind of adjust my tone so it's a little more fluid when all the tones come out in multi-dimensional. Can you do a, uh, an application, a bottle application with this? Is you it ready? absolutely can. Because the conditioner bases that they're in are so beautiful and you get this really gorgeous slip, you can absolutely do a bottle application if you like. The world's your oyster because it's non-progressive. You can do, you can take as long or as little time to do it to apply as possible. It's your up to you creatively as a stylist to make this product work for you. 
All right, so my last question before you let her go process. Why do you love Evo? I mean, you could use whatever you want, yes. so why did you choose to work with Evo? Um, the reason I chose to work with Evo as a professional stylist is that it's family owned, it's a really clean, sustainable brand, but the biggest thing for me is that it's inclusive and authentic, and we really try to make what I'm trying to do with this line is create a product line that you can put the craft of hairdressing, lift a product line up into the craft of hairdressing. I've really loved it because I could really individualize it to who I am as an artist, and I can almost make my own product line inside of a product line, and it grew me, it evolved me, it made my work better, and Evo as a brand is like my safety net. It makes me fearless in how I work as an artist because those products work for me, I believe in the messaging, and it's a brand that I feel is really here to help drive and evolve the industry creatively and in business. Well, I love that you were able to get that out while the guys went to lunch. I know, Our now construction guys. <laughs> now it's all quiet, and now, okay. and now we get to process for 20 minutes. Exactly. And then, then we're going to meet you at the bowl. Yep. Thank you so much for doing that. That looks You're beautiful. So we're, we're so excited for a month. We're going to spin you around. I'm going to see this shortly. This is great. But that tone's already looking super pretty. I can't wait to see it dry. Okay, see you at the bowl. Okay, bye. We just processed for 20 minutes and now we are going to go through and rinse this out with cold water. With Stano, you want to rinse until the water runs clear. That's how you know that all your product is off the scalp and anything outside. And then that's it. This has got a really beautiful condition base embedded in it. So you really don't need to condition or shampoo after. It's really quick and efficient. Rinse out so the water runs clear. If you're working with a really bright tone, I generally emulsify like you would with any normal color. And that's it, easy. So we have rinsed Alex's hair with cold water. I've gone through and prepped the base with Happy Campers wearable treatment to really repair and hydrate. And Icon Welder, which is our hot tool shaper, it has got a hold of three and a shine of three, but it's got an invisible finish to it. So her hair is super soft. It doesn't feel like it's got anything in it, but it's really shiny. We're gonna go through here. I'm just gonna recreate for you how to do this S-Wave. I think this is a really big trend at the moment, but there's a very simple technique to it that makes it really easy to achieve. The most important thing here is temperature. We have this iron set at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything hotter than that, you're gonna to start to take out unnecessary quality out of the hair. So sit it at natural fall, use your iron as your assistant. If you're uncomfortable holding an iron on a hair, on the hair for this amount of time, your tool is too hot. So hold it there, your hands are gonna use your hair like paper, pull it across, push it up against the iron, like that to make the wave, and then the iron just presses the heat in like an assistant towards your hand. The iron holds the hair so you can go in, pull it across, push it up, and the iron moves down to the hand. Pull it across, push it up, the iron moves down to the hand. So it's really easy. The trick to this is stay in natural fall and make sure you're at a really good temperature for the hair type you're working on. And then you'll get this really beautiful lived in wave. So all I'm gonna do now is go through and put a comb through it just to really separate out. You get, so you can see you get that gorgeous lived in wave. It's really nice and light and airy. All right, and we're going to stand Alex up, take her cape off. So you can see she's got gorgeous definition in her color. That color is really even all the way down, but you can see you get that beautiful multi-dimension from all the different tones that were in her hair before. So it's this beautiful lived in look. Now I have to create Alex's take home maintenance to keep this color like this. These are our color bases. I've already put in five grams of fuchsia and two grams of lavender with 30 grams of extra conditioner base. And now I'm gonna get Alex to give it a really good shake for me. Like you're shaking a martini. <laughs> and you can start to see the colors mixed together. The colors change, it's super fun. Perfect. That's good, babe. There we go. And you can see that her tone is there. So all she has to do as her colorist, I can tell her that she needs to use this once a week. She can shampoo with the shampoo of her choice. For her hair, I would recommend Ritual Salvation Repair Shampoo. And then all she has to do, towel dry, put two capsules of this through her hair and comb it and it will keep that hair maintained. It's gonna replace any pigment that she takes out from heat styling or environmental factors.
but you can see how light and airy the treatment. So it keeps her hair in really good condition. It's got a beautiful natural gloss on it. We haven't put any shine spray on this. That's just what the color does. And then, but it doesn't look like she's just had that much product or treatment in her hair. So it's gonna give her really beautiful, high quality, quality color. Here you go, babe. Perfect. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed today's session. You picked up some really good tips about Staino and then also the reason why we made this, which is being able to successfully customize at home maintenance for your color clients. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to Modern for having us. And if you want to see more, follow www.evohair.com. Thanks.